Lift a prayer from this heart of mine For the motherland I pray the Lord will let it rain Upon the motherland Zambia gained her independence on 24th October 1964. This was after having been a British colony since approximately 1890, when Queen Victoria signed a charter that allowed Cecil John Rhodes to not only have mining rights in Lobengula's kingdom, but further to extend the British South Africa Company BSA all the way to northern Rhodesia and Nyasaland. Cecil John Rhodes then had both modern-day Zimbabwe and Zambia named after him as Southern and Northern Rhodesia, respectively. But the people of Northern Rhodesia did not keep silent, nor did they turn a deaf ear nor a blind eye to the various injustices brought upon their people by foreigners who knew nothing of their values nor cared for the people's aspirations. Hence the struggle for independence began the fight for self-rule and self-determination. Indeed, as the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states, the recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice and peace in the world. For indeed, all humans are born free and equal in dignity and rights. We are all endowed with reason and conscience and should therefore act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. After what appeared to be centuries of struggle and bloodshed, our forefathers obtained independence from Great Britain, from the Queen of England, on 24th October 1964. What an unforgettable sight it was as the Union Jack was brought down and Northern Rhodesia was renamed Zambia, God's own and the national anthem resounded at the Independence Stadium. Stand and sing of Zambia proud and free, land of work and joy in unity. Victors in the struggle for the right, we've won, freedom's fight, all one, strong and free. Praise be to God, the people sang. Praise be, praise be, the choir resounded. Bless our great nation, Zambia, Zambia, they echoed, free men we stand under the flag of our land, Zambia. Indeed, freedom equally entails responsibility, a task laid upon each responsible citizen to bring development to our great nation, Zambia, for each one of us to be Zambia's ambassador, to uphold what our forefathers fought for, to be the change we long to see, Zambia. Our great land, Zambia, God's own, Zambia, strong and free. I lift a prayer from this heart of mine for the motherland. I pray the Lord will let it rain upon the motherland. He's watching us, He's seeing us. It don't matter how much we say, we truly care. Heart of my 